four o'clock in the morning. I got a knock on the door. I got out of bed, put some clothes on, and it was a limo driver out there. He insisted that I go with him. Outside my apartment, there was a black limousine. I get in the limousine. Who's back there? Fred Le Guin, Excel MVP from France, and Wynn Hopkins, Excel MVP from Australia. They said that there was a much easier way to pass a parameter. They had seen my video, and they want to help me, and they want to help you, all right? I asked them, wait a minute. This is Portland, Oregon. He's France, Australia, what's going on here? They said, don't ask them any questions, all right? That was none of my business. So I'm going to share with you an easier way to pass a parameter. I'm also going to show you about data validation and how to control an input. All right. Here I've got a bunch of names. Ninety eight first names. And right here, I want to get eight random first names from this list because I make a lot of fake data so that I can do examples for my courses, for the YouTube channel, for workshops, all right? Lots of random data. The names are already in a table. Let's put the eight into a table and get started. Data from table slash range. Has a header? Yes, it does. All right. Here is the easier way. Right click, drill down. There we go. We've got the eight right there, and the name of this query is called table two. Let's just leave it alone. It's fine. I'm going to close and load this as a connection only. Close and load two. Connection only. All right. Next, we need to randomize the names. All right. There is a function in Power Query, but it's buggy. All right. So we're not going to use that. We're going to do the randomization inside Excel. Random equals rand. Boom. All right. Now let's make our query. Data from table slash range. Got the random numbers. I'm going to do a sort. Let's sort largest to smallest. Doesn't matter. Add an index. Add column, index column from one. Now I want to filter. Let's filter less than or equal to. And I'm just going to put any number because we want to make a dummy step actually. So I'm going to put 11 right here. OK. Click here because this is what I want to keep. This is really what I want. Right click, remove other columns. Now, if our number was 11, this is what we want. But see, the number that we put in the cell was 8. Remember, let's look at that. There's the 8. All right, let's go back. Now, we're going to open this to see what our query name was. It was called Table 2. All right, go to View, Advanced Editor. We don't want less than or equal to 11. We want less than or equal to Table 2. Ah, eight, that's it. Let's put this where we want it to be, file, close and load two. I want it right here. Okay. Now, if we want 15 names, all right, data refresh now we got 15 random names now how do we control the input for what we need we can't ask for more than what we have all right so I'm gonna do this highlight this list okay and I'm gonna name this options good now let's go here where our number is Let's go to data validation. Go to, we want a whole number between one and equals 
count A, open parentheses, options. Okay, and our error alert. Let's say I ain't got that much. Okay. Now let's see what happens. We know that we only have 98 that we can ask for. Let's ask for 100. Okay, I ain't got that much. Cancel. All right. Now let's add some more names to the list. Okay. Right click, paste his values. All right. Now let's try to ask for 100. Ah, it let me. All right. Let's go ahead and refresh. Now we have a hundred random names. So there you go. A better way to pass a parameter and control the input. All right. And you didn't have to get the black limousine treatment at four o'clock in the morning. I'll see you in the next video.